So for the next object lesson, we want to take this shape that we've drawn that has basically four uh, nodes in it. If I highlight them all, choose corner, they're now all corner nodes. And theoretically, I can pull this back and make it into the square that it was before. Sorry, the rectangle that it was before. But uh, meanwhile, actually going to turn around and I want to turn these four nodes into a heart shape. Now I could if I wanted to highlight these two and if I click the plus sign you'll notice now there's a new node in the middle. If I click on these because all three are highlighted it kind of grabs all three so I just have to click somewhere else and you can see now there's a new node there. I don't really want that node anymore so I'm just going to click the minus sign and say goodbye. And I just put this back and I get my rectangle. So what I want to do is I want to turn these four nodes into a heart shape. That shouldn't be too hard. First I'm going to uh, set the fill to red. And maybe I'll set the stroke to black. And this can be the center of my heart. And maybe I can put this one should probably be, well let's make it smooth but not symmetrical. And do the same with this one. Maybe smooth but not symmetrical. And then this one can be the corner at the bottom. Add a little bit of texture to that so it's kind of got some shape. Now if I kind of spin this around, spin these around sort of end up with something that looks sort of like a heart. Now if you're uh, not really cool with all this heart business and you think that hearts are for people who are silly, you can certainly always just uh, turn this around and, oh, uh, I don't know, make it brown. And now it can be something much more like uh, either a chocolate or somebody's bum or whatever, but let's go back and make it a heart. We'll have five seconds of pretending to be romantic for a second. So now we're going to make this into a face. Okay, so the first things first, we could just go to the circle and, and click and drag a circle and set the fill to white and make the stroke thinner, but that's kind of boring, not very exciting. So instead of doing that, let's just hit the delete key on our keyboard. I said, oh, here we go. Hit the delete key on our keyboard. Okay, fine. And, oh, awesome. Move it out. Oh, no. Move it out. Thank you. Oh, good grief. This is not happy with me today. Fine. Delete. There we go. All right. Don't know why. Maybe Cam Studios not want liking me right now when I click the delete key, but anyway, let's try and do that with the pen tool. So I'm just going to click and drag here, and then click, and then click and drag there. So in theory, I should have something there. Now you see the stroke is really thin, so let's try and bump that up a little bit. Oh, it didn't come back. Oh, that's frustrating. Let's try filling that in and see what we've got. Nothing. Nothing. How disappointing. So let's go back to here. Uh-huh. 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 Let's maybe take that. We'll add a point. And try and bring that back around. Oh, there's some fill happening there. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. That was kind of random. But at any rate, actually, I'm just going to delete that. I only wanted three. I'm just going to make that a little bit more symmetrical. Actually, I'd like to leave that one too, and we'll only have two points. One point here that looks like this, and one point here that looks like that. So you can make the eyes look as interesting as you want, and then even after that you can still 
just use the basics to stretch them out. I think I'm going to edit this just a little bit more. I looked a little angry from that point of view, so just make it more sad. And of course you can always uh, hold down control and just zoom in a little bit better or just click the plus sign and the minus sign on your keyboard. So there's an eye. Now I want another eye that's very similar to that. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Uh, I could have also just chosen duplicate as well. And then once I've got my new eye, uh, I think I'll flip it. So we can do it like that. You could also rotate it. There's 90, there's 180. Okay. Now the other thing too is I can flip it this way and flip it this way. and Now I've got more diva looks. Or maybe that's more Spider-Man. But uh, if I flip it back, then I've got more sadness. Less threatening, as it were. Okay. Now I can... I hold down shift, I can select both of these. And uh, there's all kinds of fun little align options here. If I choose the align, then relative to the last selected, I can make them both in the midpoint, uh, which they already sort of were. I could sort of make them in the midpoint here, which sort of defeats the whole purpose. So escape, control Z. Uh, control Z still works as undo. There's also undo and redo right here. Um, you'll notice that this says shift control Z for redo. It's not control Y like usual. I'm trying to remember what control Y is, but it's something really weird. And so now we just need some more black again. I'm going to try this again. Let's see if we can. There we go. And then fill that in. Do we want blue eyes? Well, we could go blue or. We could go black, or we could go brown. I'm going to go with dark gray. So let me just make those as circleish as you want. Let's highlight both of them and make them symmetrical. That'll help a little bit. Okay. So you can see here that just because it looks like a circle doesn't mean it is a circle. I totally cheated and it's not. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And I think get rid of that. I'd like to make the stroke a little bit bigger too. Okay, so depending on if you're happy with that. But we can just duplicate that. Yeah, you can make it look. I just can uh, back up a little bit. So again, the eye can look this way. Um, we can also flip this around. And now the eye looks like you're looking that way. There's lots of different facial expressions that you can get just from eyes. It's very amazing. I'm going to flip that back. And you can get the I'm not very smart look, sort of like that. Or you can just look kind of normal. If there is such a thing as normal. Okay. And maybe make that a little bit smaller. A little bit too All right, and now for the lips, we're just going to sort of do an open line. So I'll click here one time, and I'll click and drag. So you can see here I've got a little cheesy smile. Now I can either right click with my mouse, um, and it finishes, or I can, oh, sorry, control Z, or I could uh, click enter on the keyboard. Enter. There's my line. I can add some more thickness. If I memorize some of the lines, I could probably do it faster. And then, of course, these can always be adjusted. Right. So there's my smiley guy. Could be frowny heart. But 
this finally kind of works better. And I'm actually just going to add a little bit of a nose as well. Okay, so very simple little face, and that's a pretty good sample for right now. If you want to add some hair, I'll show you just a really easy way to do that. Um, first, I'm going to add kind of crazy hair. Maybe some people call this Bart Simpson hair, but that's fine. And yeah. It's quite an awesome do. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to click and drag that up. Sorry, you can't really tell that. Oh, there, now you can see it a little bit with the, the red line sort of being hidden. But And then when I fill that in, let's fill it in yellow just so it looks absolutely ridiculous. And then I'll add some width to it. Yeah, that pretty much looks ridiculous, all right. So I'm going to line that up. And then, as always, you can edit these points so that the hairdo looks more like whatever effect you were hoping for. So if you click and drag, you can accidentally get all kinds of interesting things. Alright, so there's my um, heart dude with a uh, horrible hair. So pretty simple, not too difficult, doesn't really amount to anything, but if Disney was going to call me up next week and say, hey, we need a, an interesting character out there. So this is my hidden heart weird hair do-ish thing. Okay? So that's an easy way to use Inkscape to draw a weird randomly shaped heart do thing. <laughs>